this guy is like insane. He's going so fast. He almost just lost everything on his boat. So, sketching. I'm spying on these fancy, like, four bedroom houses built over the water. Don't worry, Ash, I've Googled this. We are out of propane. Problem is, is that these fittings right here are American. We're in French land, French Polynesia, we have French fittings. We bought this big ball of here. And we're going to try and transfer this into this using gravity to probably get a fire extinguisher. I'll get the fire extinguisher. Focus, focus. Hatch the French fitting to the French bottle and the US fitting to the US bottle. Pretty straightforward. <laughs> really done this before and so I I'm a girl and I think sometimes I'm a little bit more nervous than he is seriously I see you trust me because you got the fire extinguisher. I'm taking all safety precautions. So step number one, I believe, is to take the safety cap off the French tank. Safety cap is off. Then we have to take off safety sucking. Third step is a pair of pliers and a safety beer. Don't think we should be making sparks with the uh, later. Yeah, good, good, we can proceed. Might need a shot of something stronger than a safety gear. I'm gonna measure our existing tanks so I can tell when they're full. This is currently 15 pounds. I don't know what they're supposed to be full. It should probably stay on here. We're gonna hang this tank upside down. How are you planning on hanging it off there? I think the arch will hold that? Absolutely. So don't drop it in the ocean. Could you have tied a longer bridle? Give him a car with a leg length. Success. Sort of. I'm making him tie it off because it's swinging around like a maniac. There's probably an easier way to do this. That looks pretty sturdy, eh? Boom, fixed. We're gonna wait for these waves to pass. The end of the guitar thing. Do you trust me? Latin America. Okay, first tank is open and we don't have any leaks. I smell gas. <laughs> but, oh, maybe not. My sniffer's not working so good right now because I'm a little bit sick. Whoa, you can see it come down the hose. It's actually kind of dangerous that my sniffer's not working. I've got a good sniffer. Transfer is in progress. You can see the gas flowing from one side to the other. Genius. Check it out. I'll show you. No explosions yet. You're not allowed to walk away from it. This is good. I'm gonna be happy that we have gas again on the for cooking. We're almost done. We have our rusty fish scale. Yeah. We put about 10 pounds of propane, 12 pound bottles, so it's pretty good. We're gonna shut her down and then do the other ball that we have. That's it. That's how easy it is. Just hang one upside down, connect the two, wait, two beer. One big beer. Where are we, Ash? Uh, ha, 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 ha. I don't know. Something starting with a T, and we got uh, Moria. No, Bora Bora. Sorry, Bora Bora right back there. That's Bora Bora right there. Beautiful. We're gonna go there middle of the next week. But right now we're in Ta Ha Ta -a -a, and Ashley over here is a little sick. I got a sore throat. I'm cold of some sort. Some land lover gave me a, a sickness. That gives me more time to kite.
I've been uh, busy here doing yoga on this blustery morning. I actually did yoga in the cockpit and it's not something I normally do. I usually like to do it on the front, but it's been so windy. It's a perfect day for kiteboarding. nervous before I launch off a boat. How do you think this is gonna go? Ah, uh, just excellent, why? Okay, good. Do you have an opinion on that? <laughs> no. one of us kind of chills on here and I've volunteered to chill and do my yoga. Ben's out there having a good time. Yep. He's just uh, playing with the surfy. Uh, it's not new but it's uh, never been mastered so he's trying to get his turns down. Just only chance I had was swimming like mad for the boat. Otherwise, I would have ended up down with a cruise ship. Ah, <laughs> oh, kiting. Oh, such a finicky sport. That concludes today's kiting session. <laughs> Just heading out the pass in Iftaha. And uh, it's kind of crazy. These waves are intense over there. It's pretty narrow here. Yeah. All these passes in uh, French Polynesia are really narrow. You're just getting out of an atoll. There's usually one or two passes. If you miss them, it's not so good. What's this girl's name? Um, I don't know. She's beautiful though. How big would you rank that f up, Ash? That was a pretty big f up. Still a 1 to 10. That's getting up there, like 9. Oh, that's pretty good. Yes. You're expecting like 11? Not bad. Not I bad. Know, I, I did not bad today. We were going along in the dinghy and I hit a bit of a reef. Right there? after what? When did you hit it? Right after what? What did they say right before? I think she told me to slow down before him. The prop actually didn't break, but uh, check this out here. One piece of the throttle control arm. And we have a second piece of the throttle control arm. Whoops. You might have said that. She was right in this one time. Once in her life, she's been right. How's that possible? It still kind of works. Just, it's just a little bit shorter. This is just insane. Look at the quality of this water.
little baby. So we lay under palm trees waiting for the summer. No, and there's nowhere to go. Cause I am happy on this island. Wanna be my fun left. I don't ever want to leave. recommend Bumblebee Premium Wild Salmon for Stingrays. It is uh, it is 6.30 in the morning and we're still stuck in Bora Bora. We actually checked out yesterday and I probably pointed at the 6 p.m. departure time. We said yes, yes and uh, continued on our way. Actually didn't. We're still sitting here because there's a big uh, system coming up from the south. This is a huge swamp. 